Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge for desktop has received two updates in one day. So basically a double update has rolled out and um, it received two bug and performance fix updates uh, yesterday in my region. That was late yesterday in my region on the 19th of September. Now, first of all, to double check that you have the update, we head up to our main menu as always, head over to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version in bold now is 117.0.2045.36. Now, this is the important bit. That 0.36 was first upgraded from 0.31 to 0.35 on the 19th. And then a little bit later, Microsoft rolled out another update, pushing that point release on the same day from 0.35 to 0.36. So basically, um, the stable channel and the stable version of Edge for Desktop has received a double bug and performance issue fix update um, on the 19th of September, which is strange. So obviously, Microsoft pushed out the first update, and then obviously, there were a little couple of issues after that that they obviously had to resolve, so they pushed out another one. So that's a bit of a strange update, but nonetheless, um, if you have 35 or 36, I would say that your browser is up to date. Now, once again, the release notes just tell us that they fixed various bugs and performance issues uh, in the browser. So clearly, there's been a couple of issues since upgrading to version 117. And these maintenance updates um, are quite common. Microsoft does push them out regularly between um, version upgrades, but pushing two out in one day. Um, is basically the exception and not the norm. So interesting to see that obviously there were a couple of issues that they were trying to resolve. Now, with that all out of the way, um, there are no security updates. It's just a bug fix update, as mentioned, that's fixing um, issues in the browser. So if you have experienced any issues, just double check that your browser is up to date. Now, something interesting just to mention, um, just to inform you about, um, a day or so ago, I posted a video on how to turn off the touch modes, thicker tabs, and user interface in Microsoft Edge. Uh, because uh, one of the new features as part of the Project Phoenix visual redesign um, is a touch mode that increases the size of the browser elements like buttons, tabs, uh, the tab strip, it increases the padding between the uh, toolbar shortcut um, buttons, it increases the padding between and the size and the spacing between the sidebar um, icons and buttons and so on. Now, if we head over to our settings where the touch mode used to be located, and that's on the appearance page, um, it used to be located just under Zoom in this area over here. Now, with this point release update, I see that Microsoft has removed touch mode in my region, and I can confirm that both my devices on Windows 10 and Windows 11, the stable version of Microsoft Edge touch mode has been removed. Now, it may be different in your region. It may not. Um, it may still be there, but just bringing this to your attention because uh, the touch mode was installing the auto default mode by default where there were three modes. There was an auto on and off. And um, for a lot of users after upgrading to 117, it was placing it into auto, which was a bug, which even if your um, your laptop or your device didn't support a touch mode, uh, it was placing the larger tabs and the elements of the browser and the tab strip and the padding and so on. So it seems that that was a bug. And with this update, Microsoft has removed touch mode. And as mentioned, confirmed that both my devices on both my devices, it has been removed. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. So obviously, Microsoft trying to resolve that issue because there's been a lot of complaints after upgrading from ver uh, from version 116 to 117 and where a lot of users do not like the new interface with the large tabs and the l thicker, larger tabs and tab strip and padding and so on. But obviously, if that changes and it does become available again, obviously, I will post and let you know. But nonetheless, a double update rolling out to fix various um, bugs and performance issues. And I can confirm that touch mode has been removed in my region. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.